new videos every day. Psyche Truth. Life. Wisdom. Hi, this is Donnie and I'm here with Karina today. And we're here to show you a little stretch video to help you with your lower back pain or your hip pain as well if you're having some tension in those areas. So make sure to follow along with this video a few times a week and just go ahead and favorite it and this will help you release your tension in these areas. So the first position that I'm gonna go into is the lunge. So we're gonna start by turning to the right and planting your right foot into the ground with your hands on either side of your foot and extend the left leg behind you and really push down into that hip flexor to get a deeper stretch. And just hold for a few seconds. And Karina is going to show this next position with a hand towel that you can place beneath your knee in order to put less pressure on it. So go ahead and put your knee onto the ground. And if you're feeling pain by doing this, just get that hand towel and put it right under there. And then take your left or your right hand and put it right beside your foot and rest your, your foot, your arm against your leg and reach back behind you and grab that foot and pull it towards you. And this should be a really deep stretch in your hip flexor. And hold it for a few more seconds. And release, we're gonna go back into that lunge. Make sure your hands are side by side at your foot. And really push down into that hip. And then we're gonna go down into that hip flexor again. So reach all the way back to your foot. And pull it towards you. And release. Now we're gonna swing our hips to the other side. We're gonna do the other lunge. And rotate your hips. Make sure your hands are planted side by side on your left foot and push that right hip flexor into the ground. And take that hand towel again and put it right beneath your knee before you do this next position. And reach back around with your right arm and all the way back to your foot, putting your hand on the inside of your left foot. Hold it for a few more seconds and release that foot. We're gonna go back into the lunge, hands side by side on your foot. Then release your knee one last time and make sure your left hand is on the inside of your left foot. Take your right arm and put it all the way around to grab that right foot. And really push into your hip flexor and release. Now we're gonna rotate again to the right side. Make sure your hands are still side by side, planted into the ground. And this time that we drop our knee, go ahead and take your right hand and put it on the outside of your foot for a different stretch. And this might be a better, easier way to balance than putting your hand on the inside of your foot. But if you're more comfortable with putting it on the inside, just go ahead and move it back to where it was before. Now I'm gonna take the other arm and reach it back around this way. And go ahead and release. Go back into that lunge, rotate your hips. We're going to the left side again. And again, try doing the modification on this side of putting your left hand on the outside of your foot as opposed to the inside and see if that works for you better. Now go ahead and reach for your foot. Might take you a few seconds to get your balance. That's okay though. Just really pull it in towards your butt. Then a few more seconds and go ahead and take your right hand, put it on the inside of your foot. 
and take your left arm and swing it around to the back to get a different angle and a different kind of stretch. Now we're gonna go back into the lunge one last time. Rotate your hips. And go swing around. We're gonna do one more quick lunge on either side. And hold it there for a few more seconds. And drop the knee. Put your right hand on the inside of your foot and reach around one last time. And really pull that foot in towards you. And release your foot. We're gonna swing around to the left side. Push down that right hip flexor into the ground and plant those hands into the mat firmly. And we're gonna place our knee down one last time and reach around to grab that foot. And release. All right, and in this next stretch, we're gonna take it all the way forward and crisscross and just go ahead and walk your hands down. It's not gonna be too deep of a stretch, but if you're doing it right, you should feel it in your upper and lower back. So just go ahead and hold it there for a few seconds. Take a deep breath in and out and walk your hands an inch forward. And take another deep breath in and out and take it another inch forward if you can. Just go ahead and hold it there for a few more seconds, releasing all that upper and lower back tension. Now we're gonna walk it back up and I'm gonna go ahead and take my right foot and cross it over the top of my left. It's gonna be in this twisty like position and first we're gonna start by taking your left elbow and wrapping it around your knee and pulling it in towards your chest. And take your right hand for a deeper stretch, kinda force yourself to twist a little bit more. Now we're gonna do the reverse direction. Take your right arm and push it across your right knee. Hold it there for a few more seconds. Now take your right foot and place it kind of in your lap towards your body. And this is gonna be a little bit of a deeper stretch. And go ahead, just like we did before in the crisscross position, just walk your feet or your hands forward. And hold it there for a few more seconds. Adjust your body as necessary. At first, it might be a little bit uncomfortable. Now I'm gonna walk back up and repeat that series on the right side one more time. So go ahead and put your right foot flat on the ground again and twist your body to the right side. Then go ahead and go on the other side, pushing your right knee back as much as you can. You might get a little pops in your back. And then take that right foot and place it in your lap again. And go all the way down. And again, just adjust it as necessary because if you're feeling any pain in your knee, then you should probably do a modification and not go as far down. But if you can, just walk forward a little bit. Now walking back up, we're gonna do the other side. So take your right foot and put it underneath your left. And we're gonna crisscross like this and pull your left knee towards your body. And twist as far back as you can. And 
And then we're gonna twist the reverse direction. Take your left arm and push your left knee back. Hold it for a few more seconds until you're ready to go to the front position. Take your left foot, put it in your lap, and go all the way forward. Hold it for a few more seconds, you're almost there. Push further into the stretch. And then roll back up. We're gonna do that series one more time. So twist to the left. And then twist to the right. Then take that left foot again, put it in your lap, and roll as far down as you possibly can. Unless like I addressed earlier, if you're feeling any pain in your right or left knee, then just stay sitting. Hold there for a few more seconds, take a deep breath in. And out, take a deeper stretch, walk your hands forward. Take one more deep breath in. And out. And then walk back up. Good. All right, in this next position, it's gonna be stretching pretty much your entire lower back and your butt. It's a stretch called the pretzel, and I'm gonna do a couple variations of that. You're probably pretty familiar. So we're gonna start going to the right side. So go ahead and face this direction. Lay your back on the ground, and put your right over the top of your left leg, and put your right arm through the triangle, and pull through. And the more you pull, the deeper of a stretch you're gonna get. Hold it for a few more seconds. <sighs> Breathing in and out. And then go ahead for a different kind of stretch. Straighten your left leg and pull, or put your arms on top of your knee and pull it towards you. And if you can't reach that far, then go ahead and just continue with the first stretch I showed you. And it's okay if your butt lifts off the ground a little bit. And pull, 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 harder, and release. And in this next stretch, gonna be a twisty helicopter-like position. So go ahead, and grab both of your ankles on the outside and pull them down towards the ground. And you might have to muscle this one a little bit, but if you're muscling it enough, you definitely will get a big stretch. Keep okay, pulling down to the ground. Feel free to twist your legs more for a deeper stretch. Then we're gonna do that variation one more time. So make sure your right foot's on top of the left. Then put your right arm through the triangle again and pull your leg towards you. Hold there for a few more seconds. Now straighten your left leg again and place your hands on top of your knee or under your calf, wherever's more comfortable, and pull your leg in towards you. Hold it for a few more seconds. Now we're gonna do that twisty position again. So go ahead and twist. Make sure your right foot's on top of your left. Grab the outside of your ankles and push down towards the ground.
And now we're gonna go ahead and rotate to the left side. So I'm gonna turn my body around. I'm gonna face the other wall. And I'm gonna roll down to the ground. And this time, I'm gonna put my left leg on top of my right. And go ahead and drape your left leg, I mean your left arm through the center of that triangle again. And pull in towards you. Just hold it there as long as you can. Now straighten that top leg and pull towards your calf as close to your body as you can. Make sure you're breathing this entire time. Take a few deep breaths in and deep breath out. Now we're gonna go in that twisty pose again. This time your left's over your right. Grab the outside of your ankles and push towards the ground. Now release, we're gonna do that series one more time. So your left's on your right. Your left hand's going to the center of your legs through that little triangle. Pull towards your body. Now straighten that right knee again. And grab your calf and pull it towards you. And for a deeper stretch, go ahead and lift your hips off the ground. Now last position, make sure again your left's on top of your right, pull your ankles towards your ground in that twisty pose. Make sure your shoulders are pressed against the ground to keep a flat back. And release. I'm gonna come back up to my sitting pose. All right, in my next position, we're gonna start in butterfly. So put your two feet together, so you're facing to the front. And then we're gonna go ahead and walk our hands all the way down, just as far as you can go. And release your head, so you're just hanging there. And breathe in, and breathe out, and take your hands an inch forward. And breathe in, and breathe out, take your hands an inch forward. And the more times you do this position, the farther to the ground that your knee should be. Which is probably gonna take some time. All right, now we're gonna walk all the way back up. And we're gonna take a stretch to the left. So start in the sitting position like this. Your left's in front of your right. And we're gonna walk our hands behind us. And Karina's gonna show a beginner's version of this. And she's just gonna stay at her elbows right here. Well, I'm gonna go all the way down until my black's, back's hitting the floor. Like this. You should really feel this all in the front of your quadriceps and your hip flexors. Just hold there for a few seconds. Even on your elbows, you should still be getting a really good stretch. Now I'm gonna walk back up and we're gonna go back into butterfly position. So put the soles of your feet together, stand up straight as tall as you can and flat back all the way down. And lock your hands in front of you. And when your hands are in front of you, it's more of a stretch targeted to the upper back. If you want a different kind of stretch, more towards the hip flexors, go ahead and place your hands on your ankles and then push down with your elbows on your knees. 
You're gonna feel this more in your hips. Okay, now we're gonna take the other side. So sit in that same position, but on the opposite side. And then I'm gonna walk behind me all the way down to my elbows. And if this is enough stretch for you, just stay put in this position. But I'm gonna go all the way down for a deeper stretch. So either way works. Just hold there for a few seconds. And walk yourself back up. We're gonna head back to butterfly position. So put your feet together. And go all the way down. You can either keep your hands in this position or walk them in front of you like I did before. Just release all the tension in your neck, just let it hang there. Now I'm gonna do the right one more time, so walk yourself back up, turn to this side, and walk back down on your elbows or all the way down, whatever feels comfortable. Hopefully you're loosening up a little bit at this point. I'm gonna walk all the way down. And I'm gonna walk a little bit back up to my elbows. And I'm gonna head back to the center. And this is gonna be our last time in butterfly. So make it good, go as far down as you possibly can and breathe in and then breathe out. Now walk your hands back up. Now I'm gonna do the left side one more time. And walk it behind you. And just really push into that hip flexor in order to feel that deeper stretch. And walk back up. Great job. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to stay in touch with future videos that I'm going to post on upper body and shoulder pain, as well as post and pre-workout videos. So make sure again to subscribe and favorite it so you can keep in touch and watch a few times a week to release this tension. Thanks for watching, share with your friends.